Number 68. Show that for a given dielectric material, the maximum energy a parallel plate capacitor can store is directly proportional to the volume of the dielectric, in which case volume is equal to the area multiplied by the distance. Note that the applied voltage is limited by the dielectric strength. Okay. So, um, sure. So remember that, you know, when we're dealing with this, it's really a three-dimensional type of a problem. All right, I'm going to try to do my best here. Well, it's probably going to fall short, but here's one of the plates. Okay, this has a certain area, right? Here's another plate. This has the same area, let's say. And then the distance between them, right, which is D. If you could imagine this as three dimensions, right, there's going to be some material that fills in this area and the distance. So this material in green here, which would be the dielectric material, this would have a certain volume, right? This would have a certain volume. And we know volume, you know, is length times width times height. In this particular problem, you know, basically, it doesn't matter how we think of it, but basically the height and the depth, you know, the width essentially, is going to be represented as the area. Okay, right? Does that make sense? That would be the plate. So essentially in this formula, this is the area, okay? So the volume then would then be equal to the length multiplied by the area. And then the length in this problem is the length between the two plates, which is the D, okay? So that's how it kind of arises, that the volume is equal to D times A, which in case, you know, is a equal to A times D, which is exactly what they said over here. All right, cool. Let's get down to it. So basically what we need to do is we need to use two formulas, all right? So we need to use that the, the voltage between the two plates, A and B, is equal to basically the electric field strength multiplied by the distance between them. And we also need to use now this formula. We need to use the formula that the capacitance is equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the permittivity of free space multiplied by the area of the two plates divided by D. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to look at these three equations. And we're gonna to have to do a whole series of substitutions. So why don't we first take this equation and solve that for A. So therefore A will be equal to the volume. Remember this V stands for volume, okay? Volume divided by the distance between them. I'm gonna now take this and plug it in for A in my equation on over here. So C will then be equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the permittivity of free space. Now multiplied by the volume divided by the distance between them then divided by the distance, okay? So, you know, mathematically speaking, this is like saying the, the dielectric constant multiplied by the permittivity of free space multiplied by the volume divided then by D squared, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to solve that for D because I got to get rid of this, okay? I want just the volume in there. So if I solve this equation now for D, I get D is equal to then the voltage between the two plates divided by that electric field strength. Okay, I put E sub L for electric field strength. So now what I'm going to do is just basically take this value and plug it on in for D. Okay, so now here we have the capacitance will be equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the permittivity of free space multiplied then by the volume divided now by the voltage between A and B divided by the electric field strength, all squared. Okay? And so here now what we can do is we can basically now, you know, distribute the squared. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to finish the work over here in the middle. So capacitance then equals the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the permittivity of free space multiplied by the volume, divided by then V squared over the electric field strength squared. Now, you know, mathematically we can bring this, <clears throat> if this is in the denominator of the denominator more or less, right? We can bring that up into the numerator, okay? Or just take this fraction here, take the volume, and then multiply by the reciprocal of this whole fraction in the denominator. Anyway, how you do it, it's gonna work out to be this times then the volume, times the electric field strength squared, all then divided by V squared. And if you now notice here, if I cross multiply this V squared on out, look what I get basically, right? Look what I get. I get then C times V squared is equal to electrostatic constant K mul multiplied by the permittivity free space, multiplied then by the volume, multiplied by the electric field strength squared. 
All right, so now I think we're going to just stop it here. But if you notice, see the capacitance multiplied by the volume uh, by the uh, voltage squared. You see it over here in the formula, basically in the numerator. All right, so that's kind of how the volume is directly proportional, it says to the energy that is stored. Okay, um, yeah. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I do hope this helps. Uh, please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.